Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a bit different. We're going to be stereotypically British and talk about the weather. And to us, it feels like it's been raining since August and stopped yesterday. We've had a lot of rain and flooding recently in the UK and a number, a number of our American and Canadian followers have asked us uh, to see if we're okay because I believe it's actually made its way over to their news uh, too and we have been uh, perfectly okay because we're at the top of a hill so flooding doesn't really affect us that much but if we head over to the computer quickly um, here we have the government website uh, for checking for flood warnings as you can see, there's absolutely tons in England at the moment, but in East Anglia, where we live, which is kind of this part of the country, um, we do have uh, quite a few of those too. But what we'll start off with doing today is just going around our property and showing you some of the uh, water damage or flood damage, which isn't very bad. And then we'll go for a drive and see what we find. So we'll start off here at one end of our field where, as you can see, we got our Bolands HT23 uh, stuck uh, about a week ago. But this water level has gone down quite a bit, even though it is still quite squelchy and wet everywhere. Literally all of the grass is underwater when you stand on it. But a couple of days ago, this whole area was underwater until we kind of dug a bit of a um, drainage ditch bit along here that kind of leads under the hedge into the ditch that's behind there that was to get rid of most of the water coming off the field that way and also get rid of some of the stuff um, from this area here too and that worked pretty well to get rid of all of that now we'll head up to the other end of our field we're now at the top end of our field as you can see there's a lot more standing water that you can see uh, literally all of the grass in this area has water under it, whether it looks like it or not. And that's all after having dug this uh, quick kind of like trench bit to try and drain some of the water, which I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but that is that is flowing uh, down there into that ditch behind this hedge. So that uh, the level that it's at at the moment is a lot less than uh, what it was, definitely. And just looking over the fields around us, uh, there's some big puddles in there too. Um, not sure how well you can kind of see through the hedge, but for those of you that follow uh, my sister's trail camera channel, uh, you can see uh, that is one of her cameras there. If you don't and you like trail cameras and nature, nature I will leave a dis uh, link in the description uh, to her channel, but I will just go say hello to one of her cameras. And with that done, we can go and try and find some more water. Now we are in the car, and uh, as we were saying that it stopped raining, it has started again, so that's uh, suboptimal. Now what we won't be doing is showing any uh, flooded properties, firstly because it's a bit uh, disrespectful, and secondly we don't want to be driving our land through Land Rover through flood water at the front of people's flooded properties because we don't want to cause a big wave or coat the entrance to their property or anything like that. So we will just be showing you uh, kind of the flooded landscapes and fields. There is a duck pond here, but the trick is knowing where the duck pond starts is quite deep. That's where it should be. Uh, this is the road. It's completely over the road. Normal boundary is kind of where those plants are sticking up. But yeah, completely covering the road there. There's a bit of a dip here, and that looks relatively deep, but we have just seen a Ford Fiesta go through this, so we should be fine, hopefully. Wasn't too bad, but still 
not the most helpful thing to have across the road. Just going down one of the main roads now, and you can kind of see over there, that field is completely underwater. Quite a big field there, actually. We are now on a little country road which leads up to what we call in this country a ford uh, which is where a river crosses over a road and that's just how the road is designed and it's the same ford that we go through in our Land Rover 90 um, in our intro to all of our videos uh, when we go through a bit of water so I doubt we'll be able to get through um, today but we'll just compare what the levels are like to uh, what they were in the summer a couple of years ago when we filmed that video. The road is closed leading up to the Ford here um, so we've kind of parked as close as we can get so we'll kind of walk over and see what the levels are like. All the land around it is completely flooded on both sides especially if you look over there that's very bad. That's multiple entire fields completely underwater. And unfortunately I don't think, actually we might be able to see the, um, the meter and foot kind of depth indicator over there. By the looks of it, it is a bit under four foot from what I can see. We'll just stand on this dry bit here to have a look over. Well, I don't know if anyone wants to flip back uh, to the starting bit of this video. You might be able to see kind of some of these railing bits possibly to compare the depth. But yeah, this is all completely underwater and about three and a three quarter feet I would say. That's just all completely running off onto these fields uh, which is why they're completely underwater. In theory uh, with the water being just under four foot we could probably get through it with the Land Rover um, but other than the fact that the road was completely blocked off to cars um, it is a curved road so you can't really see where the tarmac is when there's over three foot of water on it so we probably end up going off the road and also there's a decently strong current on that um, water and we don't want to get uh, kind of pulled upstream <laughs> That would be a pretty big inconvenience for us. We're now going over a uh, small bridge. I'm not sure how high uh, the river levels will be. Oh, there you go. You can see a decent amount of water flowing through there, and it's quite a high level. Here we have quite a few fields um, that are all underwater. If you can kind of see over the hedge. And in a second, we'll be taking another bridge see the levels there too. We're now taking this uh, small lane here which has another bridge over the river. Uh, we're hoping we can kind of see the levels uh, here as we go across. Uh, is single file over the bridge coming up here. You can see the fields around it are flooded, so uh, clearly shows that the river is going to be high. And you can kind of see there the river has completely leaked over onto the field next to it. Not quite up at the bridge level, but still covering that entire field. There should be some more flooded fields to our left, however, uh, by the looks of it, this road is flooded too. So we'll just do what you're meant to do through water and go a bit slowly. You can kind of see the wheel tracks there. Went through easily though, but you can see actually how deep it gets uh, on the roads there and also some of the fields. We are now heading down to 
to the River Yare, uh, which eventually winds up at the coast, a place called Great Yarmouth, uh, which is spelt Yare Mouth because it's the mouth of the River Yare and kind of where it joins uh, the sea. But we're going to head down to the river and see what it's like uh, right up close to it and see if it's kind of burst its banks or overflowed up here. We are now approaching the rib river. Ditch to our left is full. There's a bit of water on the road, so we will see if there's actually any water when it comes to uh, the river side. I mean, the river is quite high, but and by the looks of that deck, it's wet. Not sure if that's because it's been washed or because the river's been up there, but it doesn't look much lower than the deck there uh, at this pub. Oh yeah, the fields behind the river are all completely submerged pretty much. If we look down there, just wind the window down because it's kind of clouding up. But you can see there's the river, not much uh, below the decking. And then over there, behind the river, it's just absolutely tons of fields that are completely submerged absolutely tons of land there underwater. Now the river that's here is actually quite deep because I believe ocean going vessels used to be able to go through there but as you can see uh, the river water has come all the way up onto the road here and it's kind of covering the road a bit. That's come all, all the way through uh, kind of 10 foot banking but as we said that's all uh, very deep. All the boats that are on along here are kind of propped up a lot more now. You can actually see them a bit better. Another duck pond turned into a duck road. Uh, this one you can kind of better see where the pond is meant to be and where the road uh, is completely flooded. It's flooded for a much longer section of road on this one though compared to the previous duck pond. We're now heading home. Um, I hope that gives kind of our American, Canadian and uh, viewers from other countries a bit of an insight into some of the flooding uh, happening in the UK right now and our area is by far not the worst hit so we do feel very sorry for the people in other areas um, for the hundreds of people who have had their houses flooded um, this video is being recorded on the 6th of January um, so and we are predicted to have a couple of weeks of dry weather so hopefully that will get rid of most of the flood water and things can go um, relatively back to normal in terms of weather and hopefully we don't have any more um, big extreme weather events uh, in the next few weeks. However, that is it for this video, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.